Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Celeste, and today I'm going to show you how I do this beautiful, beautiful eye look. Um, it was supposed to be Sailor Moon, but it ended up being like a sunset situation. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please, please keep watching. All right, let's get into it. You know the drill. If you don't want to hear me speak, then go ahead and just mute me. But you should really get into this cute little um, eye look I got going on because the blending is immaculate. I'm going to just say that right now. Um, but if you do want to stick around and hear me chat, then today we are going to be talking about dating. Yay! Celeste is back on the scene again. Um, but also, before I get into that, uh, I have family members who watch me, so I'm going to need y'all to make a swift exit out of here especially you dad no disrespect no disrespect but i don't want to talk to my family about my dating life and um that's that on that so if you are family please uh make your way out appreciate you but if you're not if you're my bestie and you're here with me chilling then let's talk about dating so again i am dating again after the pandemic and um I don't know how I feel about it, y'all. I'm very shy. Like, OMG. I'm very, 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 very shy. And I also have social anxiety. And that's just not conducive to dating. Like, before the pandemic and after. Like, it's it's just not. So, I'm um, struggling with that. But, you know, the pros, the good news is I've, I'm at a point in my life where I'm really loving myself. And I'm in a good place. And I, I mean, I've always loved myself. I love my personality more than anything. But I'm actually at a place where I'm loving my body too. And that's very new to me. And um, I'm enjoying that a lot. The cons to dating right now are that I'm very protective of my heart. And I have a very, very, very hard time opening up emotionally. And that's not cool if you're trying to date right I don't know I don't know like it's just it's just not it's not the move so I've never been in a relationship that's lasted longer than a year like at all I I enjoy the honeymoon phase the three to six months of getting to know somebody it's fun it's thrilling it's exciting there's lots of dates there's it's just it's fun and then after that I tend to drop off emotionally because I have a fear of um I don't know I, I just have a fear I also feel like people sometimes move too fast and the maybe I choose wrong but the guys that I tend to date want marriage kids all that stuff after like two weeks of dating like they think they found their soulmate and I'm like I don't even know you bro like I just I don't even know you like that and like that's not <laughs> it's hard for me y'all so I've always prioritized getting the bag getting money making myself making sure I'm well off over being in a romantic relationship and even when I am in romantic relationships like my priority is not them so that's something I definitely have to I, I'm, I'm working on that I'm working on that especially because um, I like older guys and dating in my late 20s I'm dating men in their 30s and they it's it's different it's very different than dating guys in their 20s because guys in their 20s just you know want to have fun they want to i mean i want to have fun i'm still in my 20s i want to have fun too and when you are when i'm looking at these men in their 30s chances are they have kids and i've dealt with that before i've dated a guy with kids and i don't know at that it was it wasn't what I wanted especially because I don't want to be I care about kids 
and I don't want to be someone who like a kid gets to know me and they're like oh she's so great she's fun and then I like disappear out of their lives forever and it's like what happened to Celeste I don't want like just don't introduce me to your kids until I don't know man I don't know and then also men in their 30s I feel like have their stuff a little more together but they're not all together and I'm not together and it's just a mess y'all I don't know man like the dating stuff is not Ugh, it's hard for me man but but 2021 I am starting again and I'm I'm gonna see how this works and I feel like it's gonna be good it's gonna be good I'm willing to open myself up emotionally even if it means getting my heart broken which has never happened before because I never give men a chance to even do that like so um, I'm willing to open myself up emotionally I've been working on that I have a hard time opening up myself emotionally to myself so to do it for someone else is like wow that's gonna be interesting um so yeah I've been working on that like I said I've been working on myself so I feel like I am ready to make those moves and to not bring that baggage into my next relationship and I'm excited for that I'm also I'm willing to start dating seriously again like I said I am dating again but it's it's kind of like an on-off thing where I'm like if I feel like it's just not going anywhere then I stop like I'll just stop and move on and do something else but I'm going to take it seriously this time and get it together and um, we'll see how this goes. I will absolutely keep y'all updated, if you'd like. Some of y'all probably don't even care. I don't blame you. But some of you, like me, kind of nosy and just want to see what's up, what's going on. And so for y'all, I will be more than happy to give you an update on how it's going. I can tell you right now, it's not going anywhere as of right right now. But there's still time. We still got time in the year. We'll get it together. And um, I am 27. And I'm just, I feel like it's, ugh. I've never, marriage has never been a priority. But I am open to it, I suppose. I've never seriously thought about it. But it's it kind of getting at that age where it's like, uh, the men I'm dating, or, or potential, the potential men that I'm dating, in their 30s, some of them are probably seriously thinking about settling down and like building a family and all that stuff. And I'm not sure about that. But like I said, I'll, I'll, we'll see how it goes. So. I'll keep you updated on that, you guys. Here is the look. Here's the final look with the hair and the makeup and all that fun stuff. And it was supposed to be Sailor Moon, but it ended up being this. So it could still be Sailor Moon, if you'd like. If you'd like. But this is the look, the final look. I did some little space buns at the top. Try to, I tried to keep the Sailor Moon theme, but I mean things happen it was kind of I winged it literally and figuratively I winged it so get into it I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you on my next video bye guys <laughs>